Howdy folks, welcome back to these parts. Always nice to see your face smiling at the computer. I assume every time you click on my videos, you're smiling from ear to ear, from uh, cheekbone to cheekbone, because you're like, wow, Harry posted a new video. He must have something very exciting to share with me, something super educational, something I never knew before. I hope that's the case. Today, in the wild world of the web, I wanna give a little more of a higher level conversation with you. I wanna talk about the APIs of the web. Yeah, there are in your day-to-day -day operations with the internet, two primary APIs that you interact with all the time when making web applications. And I think there's a disservice done to newer engineers coming into the web community because these APIs get kind of conflated. I'm talking about uh, browser APIs, uh, like the DOM API and the JavaScript API. I suppose this video only really applies if you're also trying to do JavaScript on the web. If you're not, the only really have to worry about is the DOM API. But even then, if you're talking with a DOM API, then you're writing in JavaScript. So really, if you do want to use JavaScript, then this video applies to you. But if all you really care about is HTML and CSS, then uh, you should skip this video because it's not really gonna help you. I take that back. This video is gonna help you if you do only know HTML and CSS because it'll get you a nice introduction to what these things are if you ever decide to do something more. Uh, that was really annoying, giving all those caveats. Let's start again. There's two primary APIs in the browser. The browser API, like the DOM, the DOM API, and JavaScript API. Uh, and those things, while both access through the JavaScript language, are very different. Um, let's start with JavaScript and the JavaScript API. When I say the JavaScript API, I mean all of the methods and objects that you would use if you were writing vanilla JavaScript, such that if you were writing JavaScript inside of Node, like outside the context of a browser, Node being a server-side rendered JavaScript language, this is, what I'm talking about is like when you make an array, you want to filter items out of an array, you would call the array.filter method. That is an API in the JavaScript language itself. Uh, you know, object.keys, uh, array.reduce, um, string.replace. Uh, all these APIs, and there's so many of them, is all part of JavaScript, the language. Just JavaScript, ignoring the browser at large. So. That is one whole domain of knowledge to know. You could get, you could go deep just in learning the in, intricacy, 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 I, I still can't say the word, all the details about JavaScript by just studying all the APIs that are inside of there. So that's one side of the, the equation. The other side of the equation is the browser API, and that's the API that you use when actually trying to control the browser. And also, built-in native objects in the browser itself. So for example, uh, document is a built-in object in the browser that does not exist in Node. It's a browser-only thing. And one of the most used methods on there that is from the days of jQuery is query selector all. So if you call document.querySelectorAll, that is an API method you're calling on the document object. This is part of the browser API. and. Uh, MDN, if you're not familiar, the Mozilla Developer Network is the best resource for both the browser APIs and also the JavaScript APIs. But in the browser side of APIs, it's also how when you query selector the page, uh, uh, let me show you a little bit, let's, let's play around. So I figured it'd be funny to kind of do this on the actual documentation page for document.querySelectorAll. Um, this is again the document object, which is a interface that has all these properties on it, all of these methods on it, methods, can I even scroll down, events on it, the whole event system is the whole thing. So if we go to document.createSelectorAll and I call, uh, what is this? Let's inspect this. This is syntax. So if I do uh, document.createSelectorAll and I pass it in uh, syntax, I'm gonna get back uh, node list, yes. So node list is an array, is, is another object type in the document browser. And it has its own suite of properties and APIs that you can use. So I can say node equals uh, node list zero. And this 
is a actual node in the browser, which has so many properties on it. And this is all part of the browser API, nothing to do with JavaScript, JavaScript itself, albeit you use JavaScript to control the browser API. JavaScript is definitely the thing that encompasses everything, but because JavaScript is just a language, that means that you can do more than just have to learn the browser API. If you do want to be programming on the web, then it behooves you to know the browser API. And that's just kind of like the built-in fundamentals. This is not even talking about framework APIs or, or library APIs, but um, when you're looking at someone's code, be aware of what API you're talking to. If you see a, like familiarize yourself with all the APIs for the respective domains. I remember back in my early career, I was learning uh, Ruby on Rails for fun. And there was this method in this class that I was reading some code and it was this ATTR accessor was the method. And I kept Googling uh, uh, Ruby, like ATTR access, like trying to figure out like what is this functionality in the Ruby language? And I kept Googling it, Googling it, could not figure it out. I'm not even lying, I probably spent two, three hours on this until finally I, I, I was able to find some indirect link that actually said, oh, this is this is a Rails method. That if I had just Googled Rails ATT or Accessor, I would have just found that on the first go ahead. So uh, the lesson that I learned from that was to be aware of who's providing the food, so to speak. Uh, are you getting food from uh, a meat restaurant or a vegetarian restaurant? Because you could order a burger from the meat restaurant, and that is cow, or you can go to a vegetarian restaurant and order a burger, and that's beans. So you're talking, the, you're asking for the same thing, but depending upon where you're asking it from, you're getting back two very different things. So uh, be very careful with that when learning the browser. So again, there's the JavaScript API, the browser API, and there's all these other ones when you actually download libraries and those other things. That's kind of the lesson that I wanna impart on you today. More, more of a high level thinking episode than it would be normally in the past, but uh, one that I think is very important for uh, sharing, because it's one that I struggled with earlier on in my career, and if I had seen a video that helped just straighten me out, I would've been very appreciative. So uh, hopefully this helped and it put kind of things into context for you. I know I like to use my hands. That's how I levitate if I flap my hands really, really, really fast. If you're not already a subscriber, do become one if you like these types of videos. Uh, Patreon is a thing as well. Twitter is a thing as well if you want to talk to me in real time. And uh, I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.